When we're exchanging data in a supply chain, there is no standard format for exchanging this information. There is no one form, you know, when we're talking about conflict minerals, there's a CMRT form. Everybody has the same form. They pass those things up and down the supply chain and it's always the same. But with the full material disclosure, it's not. Sometimes they give you an Adobe PDF. Sometimes it's a Microsoft Word document or an Excel spreadsheet or an HTML. Uh, there's also some XML-based data exchange standards that have been developed by the industry that allow XML reports to be exchanged between different platforms. So if you're using Greensoft software, you can generate one of these reports in XML format, and then you can send that to somebody who has another platform, say Agile PGNC or some other platform, they can import that right in because it's an industry standard communication protocol. And there's a lot of those out there. So there's IPC 1752A, that's the most adopted, just about every compliance platform on the planet supports IPC 1752A. 1752B is just a later revision of that that supports some different skip elements. It's been less adopted. Uh, 1752C is currently in development and will be released in the next year or so. So, you know, I would expect that, you know, 1752B, you won't see a lot of adoption because 52C is coming. There's 1754, which is specific to aerospace and defense industries that has some additional information like process chemicals and allows for different kind of reporting methods. And then there's the IEC 62474, which is a electronics industry standard for declaring this information. And that allows for not only the declaration, but it has a companion database of free screen substances. I mentioned earlier about requirements, the IEC 62474 declarable substance list. That's maintained by the same committees that maintain the declaration standard. So you can use both together. You can use them separately. Actually, the IPC 1752A standard references the IEC declarable substance list. And there's also a new standard being developed in coordination between ISO and IEC. That's the 82474-1. And that one is a material declaration standard that's intended to be cross industry that allows textiles, packaging, and other industries besides just electronics to participate in this process because there's a merging of technologies, there's clothing with electronics in it now, the packaging becomes a bigger, bigger problem as these regulations expand. And so this is a, a answer to that, and that should be coming to bear in the next year or so. Watch the full length video and gain access to our full archive of educational webinars at greensofttech.com slash videos. And while you're there, learn about our premier solutions for environmental regulation compliance.